Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode. <clears throat> in the last episode we added our first section and we most importantly learned how to make our game load. So in this episode we will be adding a setting section to our game and we will also be adding a background image as well. So let's talk a little bit about the setting section. So this section contains miscellaneous options for your game such as the background picture, building cost scaling which is pretty interesting and style sheets and sprite sheets. Now style sheets and sprite sheets are significantly more complicated than anything we have covered so far. So we will go over them in a different video. But uh, I also forgot to mention that in this episode we will also be adding a style sheet that is built in to Idle Game Maker, to the engine, but you don't really need to know how it works, just know that it will make our game look a lot nicer than it is right now. But let's now notice this snippet again that I have taken from the handbook. And if you want to, you can pause and read about each mm, command in detail. Most of them are rather well explained, except this uh, part right here, the one that says the background, because you know it says that your background needs to be some kind of URL.jpg, right? When you're a beginner, you don't really know what that means, so I will show you what this exactly does and how to exactly add a background picture to your game as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We can go into implementing our settings section. All right, before we actually implement our settings section, let's uh, learn how to actually add images in your game because uh, this is pretty important. So in order to add an image or an icon in your game, the image in question needs to be hosted on an image hosting site. One of my favorite uh, image hosting site is myroware.io. I have linked it in the description, you'll just need to log in and after that it's actually pretty simple to use, I will also show you in just a second. And you then copy the hosted images URL and paste it in your source file. So really that's it. We can move on to finding a background picture that we like, hosting it on myroware.io and then pasting the URL into our settings section. Okay, so in order to add a background picture in our game, we first need to find a background picture that we like. So I have found this one right here that I like quite a lot. I have also linked this in the description if you want to use the same one as me. If not, you can just, you know, search for whatever, any kind of background you like, doesn't really matter. I like this one, so I'm going to use it now. You just, you just save it, save the image as. I have actually already saved it, so I have named it background image. Yep, and now that we have it saved, you just go to myroware.io, you need to log in. Once you have logged in and created an account, you just click go to your garden. And I actually have a lot of garbage in here already, but I have created a new directory for us to use. Here you just drag and drop the file that you have saved, the image you have saved in here. And there we go. Now, this is the golden URL that we are looking for and that we will need. This is the key part of adding an image to your game. So you just copy this URL, it says copy to clipboard, and then we can add the settings section. And we just do background and paste it in there. And that's really all we need to do in order to get a background image in our game. So I already have our game opened, but once I hit refresh, there we go. We have a background. However, there's still one more bug that you need to be aware of, and that is when the player zooms out, the background starts to tile up, which we do not want because it looks, well, it looks horrible. So, a simple fix for this is to write a little bit of CSS, don't worry, you won't need to know what the code that I'm about to enter in our source code, that source file does. Just add a CSS section and copy and paste this inside your CSS section. <clears throat> I have also linked this code in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste it. And yeah, now we just save changes. You don't need to know what it does again, just notice that our background is looking a lot better. 
after we added that command and it doesn't tell anymore after we zoom in or zoom out so yeah that's great now for a little mini mini little tiny CSS lesson I guess let's just slightly explain what this does so basically this sets the background size right so our background image size to take up 100% of the players uh, monitor size on the x-axis so all of the pixels that are well, horizontal and also all of the pixels that are on the y-axis <clears throat> so it just stretches it out to basically the entire resolution of the players mm, monitor which is really handy to have because if someone plays your game who has a really large monitor right if you didn't have this the image would just not fit and of course image rendering as well pixelated this is just so it doesn't look blurry when it gets resized when someone has a larger monitor or a smaller monitor whatever so it always just looks crisp okay and really that's all there is to adding the background image and we will add our other stuff as well now I also mentioned that we will be adding a style sheet to our game so let's just write style sheet in our source code and I am in the handbook as well I have this prepared for now just know that you need to use style sheet stuff slash big blue dot CSS this code right here and it will make our game look quite a lot nicer there we go stuff slash big blue dot CSS now we just save our changes and here we can see that our headers actually look a lot nicer now they are this nice blue theme all right actually that should probably be it for this episode i won't be adding any uh, changes to how the building cost scaling works or the refunding as well because i think the default values will work just fine for the game that we will be creating if you want to however you can definitely add some changes to your liking but yeah, congratulations, you made it to the end of this episode. In the next one, we'll be talking about a bunch of game design tips on how to make your clicker game fun. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you there because it's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new future videos. Of course, if you also want to, check out my Patreon, linked in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.